Hey, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the news of today. The first include full agreement reached in negotiations on all the issues related to the Constitutional Conference. Foreign Minister affirmed that agreement over 90% of Nahda Dam disputed points. New 215 infections of COVID-19 and 12 fatalities registered. Member of the Transitional Council and the spokesman of the Relation for this negotiation, has announced that full agreement was reached on all the issues related to the Constitutional Conference in a way that ensures its convocation in accordance with the Constitutional document and with the participation of all the Sudanese and citizens of the states. In a press statement after the third sitting of negotiations on the national issue via video conference, Ataishi said we agreed on the basic principles and we agreed on the establishment of the act of the Constitution Making Commission and the Constitutional Conference by involving all groups, including the peace blocs, to ensure that the Commission is based on the principles stipulated in the Constitutional document, such as the independence and the professionalism. About the conference for the governance system, the spokesperson of the government delegation indicated that the agreements included the return to the federal regional government system with broad federal powers. Sudanese Foreign Minister Asma Muhammad Abdullah affirmed that 90% of the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, GERD, disputed points were agreed on, adding that a satisfactory agreement will be reached over the remaining points. She added in a TV interview that Sudan is a genuine partner and not a mediator between Egypt and Ethiopia, adding that its stance on GERD was explained during the negotiations. She pointed out that the principles of Sudan are the just utilization of waters and rejection to any harm to others, besides exchanging of information and peaceful solution to the disputes according to the international law. Sudan's irrigation minister stressed the need for an agreement on the filling of the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, GERD, saying that his country is the most affected by its construction. Minister Yasser Abbas made his remarks during a TV talk show with the Sudanese foreign minister, Asma Abdullah, on Saturday on the GERD. The minister further said that the operation of the Rusayris Dam, which is at 60 kilometers from the border, with Ethiopia depends primarily on the operation of the Renaissance Dam at 15 kilometers from the Sudanese border. The minister said his country is accused by Egypt and Ethiopia of siding with either country, asserting that Sudan takes its positions based on its national interests without harming the interest of the other two countries. The Sudanese Revolutionary Front, RF, has commended the Sudanese Professionals Association, SPA, position supporting peace, appreciating the positive statements delivered by the union's leadership in the press conference held on Saturday in Sudan News Agency. The RF outlined in a statement it issued on Sunday that the responsible statements on peace efforts provided healthy atmosphere that would make a success the transitional period and contribute to realization of a comprehensive peace and sustainable democratic transition. The RF affirmed the pioneering role of the SPAA in the Sudanese revolution, calling on its components to distance themselves from the political motivation to guarantee the freedom and independence of the trade union work. Member of the Sovereign Council, Aisha Musa, has lauded the role of Sudanese women in building the homeland and support of the economy. The SC member who met on Sunday at the Republican Palace the acting wali of Shimali Estate, Major General Mohammed Mohammed al-Hassan, commended the role being played by women in Shimali Estate to achieve abundant wheat crop production this year, affirming her support to the contributions and initiatives of women in all the states. The wali of the state said the SC member directed his government to support all kinds of support to women activities in the state. The Sudanese Professionals Association has asserted its support to the transitional government led by Dr. Abdullah Hamdok within the political incubator of the forces of the Declaration of Freedom and Change for completing the tasks of the revolution and the transitional period. At the regular news forum of Sudan News Agency, SUNA, the member of the Sudanese Professionals Association, Dr. Mohammed Najil Assam, has called for reform inside the Professionals Association, referring to the things that happened at the level of the association which were harmful to the revolution and the change process in Sudan. He pointed to the occurrence of partisan lobbying in the Professionals Association, 
despite the existence of a prior agreement to address the crisis, indicating that the partisan lobbying has affected the suspended practice of professionals' associations. The Federal Ministry of Health has announced the registration of new 215 COVID-19 infections, in addition to 12 fatalities and 99 recovered cases. According to the Ministry's epidemiological report, the new cases registered were as follows. Khartoum State, 166 cases, Jazeera 15, the White Nile 5, Sinar 6, Nahran Nil 8, Gadar 5, Red Sea 6, North Kordofan 3, and one case in South Darfur. The Chinese medical delegation currently on a visit to the country inspected Sunday the COVID-19 field hospital for patients for minor and medium cases in Soba campgrounds, which was chosen to ease pressure on large hospitals by isolating suspected and confirmed cases and transfer critical cases to the big isolation centers. The Director of the Health Ministry Bilateral Relations Department, Dr. Amjad Abdel Majid, said the visit of the delegation aims at assessment of the site and transfer of the Chinese experience in building field hospitals. He said the preparation of the hospital is carried out in cooperation with the Spanish Médecins Sans Frontières and the Red Cross Society. And now we remind you with the headlines. Full agreement reached in negotiations on all the issues related to the Constitutional Conference. Foreign Minister affirmed that agreement over 90% of Nahda Dam disputed points. New 215 infections of COVID-19 and 12 fatalities registered. That was everything from Ashuruk TV. Thank you for following and see you next time.